Who do you want to talk to first? Let's wait till she's can stand up. Yeah, he recognizes my voice, I think, here, um, when I'm around the house. I go up to him, I'm like, what's up, Elmer? He'll be like, look and see who's calling. And then, like, he, he'll know it's me because I'm the only one that handles him besides my little brother, Bronson. But he'll try to, like, take off to the far corner, get his head outside. Like, he'll think this is hiding if his head can't be seen, he can't see you, can't see him. It's funny because I used to have a log in his cage. It's the biggest one I think you buy. Just on his top head, of it, his head fits underneath there. And he's never bitten you? Never, not once. Oh, Elmer. Elmer. After Elmer, Elmer Fudd. Fudd. <laughs> Elmer Fudd. My dad wanted to name him Elvis, so we said Elmer. Yeah, I was like, Elmer, is that between that or Leroy? Well, I don't know. I think they're beautiful in their own way. Their you know, colors. it's just like I like their looks, and they're just like an easy, friendly pet. I just like how like friendly they could be. They could be mean if you don't handle them, but it's very important that you have to handle them. Because, like, if you don't handle them, imagine him this big trying to bite your finger off. They could do damage to people, but they're just like any other pet. You need to give them attention and love and care and treat them right and make sure he's in the best of health. Make sure their environment's clean and stuff, too. <laughs> Thank you so much again, guys. Take care. Did you try the one? Yeah, the back door. We'll miss you, Elmer. <laughs> Bye, Elmer. Have him send us a Christmas card next year. Yeah, well, we'll send him one, definitely. <laughs>